we're starting our first day in Colombia. Good morning guys from Bogota, Colombia. Before we do anything, I want to show you this Airbnb because it's probably my favorite that I've ever stayed in. So here are the main quarters. This is the living room. What I love about this place is how much character it has. Look at these tiles, hand broken tiles forming this mug here. You can tell that most of this stuff was hand cut and handmade. Some of these barely open. <laughs> we have a hammock here in the corner of the living room. Look at all the colors and the patterns. Zebra stripes. Now let me show you the balcony. And now for the view. Welcome to Bogota. Now let me show you the courtyard on the way out. We're on the second floor and so this is what we look down on in that Indian mountains. We're starting our first day in Colombia. And we're walking down to the main plaza right now. Andre! So this is Plaza de Bolivar, the main plaza of Candelaria in Bogota. So see there are always a ton of people here and a lot going on. Look at this. A bunch of street food, street drink, and then there's this big church over here. Plaza Boulevard is the main square of Bogota. There are food carts, street performers, live music, and alpacas. It's a great place to people watch and try really cheap Colombian food. Thank you. Corn on the cob in Colombia. Mm. I like how they place it in the corn husk like this to make it easy to hold. Butter, Butter salt, and, salt, and roast it over some fire. It's so good. And this is Cinco Mil, which is a little bit over a dollar. So not too bad. Hola, bienvenidos. Gracias. I just ordered it in Oblayas and it's about 70 cents. Um, it's basically two wafers with like some caramel inside. Check it out. Give it a try. Mmm. Sweet and delicious. It tastes like caramel and wafers. You can order these with any filling that you want, so you can get like a jelly or a jam inside instead of just the caramel. We kept seeing these carts with boiling liquid, fruit, and a shelf of alcohol on the side. Turns out it's called aromaticas, a Colombian tea, and you can pay more to add an alcohol of your choice. This is Aromaticas. So we just went to one of these street vendors right here and we got two of these drinks. So you pick the alcohol that you want, but basically the base of it is like a tea, like a lemony 
<laughs> just spilled on me. That's hot. <laughs> so, Lindsay got one with the traditional Colombian alcohol, and I got one with rum. Wow, that is good. It's like Christmas. That's so sweet. Which one's it's better? Like a lot of honey, like a cinnamon or something. So we're in Plaza Bolivar, and usually when you're here during the day, during most of the night, there are a ton of these street vendors everywhere. But now, there are still a lot of them, but they're all selling the same thing, which is this alcoholic tea. So we're just walking around the streets of Bogota, drinking our drinks just made here on the street for us. Nobody cares, drinking out of little Dixie cups. It's amazing. They don't make the drinks weak around here either. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. Empanadas, arepas, tinto. Okay, so we just got two empanadas. A chicken one and a beef one. And we weren't we didn't really realize while we were buying them how much they were. We tried to get a discount, but they were a thousand each. And that means they're about 25 cents. She's already eaten half of it. Half of it. it it's so good and fresh. So it's a good size empanada, they're making it right in front of us, and it's that cheap. This is a tequeño, it is ham and cheese and some sort of bread. All I got was bread on that, buddy. <laughs> so basically this is a one giant breadstick with ham and cheese in it. Like Mostly it? bread, a little bit of ham and cheese. <laughs> You can't even see anything in there. It's just a hole. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> oh, happy! <laughs> Alright, so we just got chocolate covered strawberries. About five of them and a marshmallow on the top. And it was dos mil, which is about 50 cents. Alright, we weren't the biggest fan of this, this dish, so it's going to be off. Come on, Paddle. Come on, Paddle. If the dog won't eat it, then you don't <laughs> <laughs> how colorful the buildings are up here. Look at this. I'm just walking around the streets here in Bogota. So Lindsay just bought an avocado off a cart on the street and now she's just eating it. Just the avocado. It's my favorite food. I had to do it. <laughs> so it was dos mil, which is about 50 cents, maybe even less. For a huge avocado too. Look at that. Colombian food is actually nothing like Mexican food, but I wanted to try some Colombo Mexican food and drinks anyway. So I ordered a variety of a michelada. It's coconut cream, pineapple, and chamoy, which is a few different spices, and then a corona. <laughs> I didn't do that right. Around the rim is like this really good pineapple sugar. Oh wow. It can really taste the coconut, but it also has like a little bit of a tomato flavor as well. And I have a tequila with a little bit of spice around the rim, some limes, and then I got a juice to go with it. It's a Jamaica. That mix of salt and spice is amazing. So we just got back to our Airbnb and we have this little sliver of balcony and it looks like there is a sunset out there. So let's check it out. So it looks 
like a refrigerator froze our almond milk. <laughs> Not bad. All right, bye Airbnb. We're going somewhere new in Colombia. We're leaving Bogota, but we have no time right now. We're really late, so I'm gonna tell you in the bus. And we're going to Salento. And in Salento, that's where they have the tallest palm trees in the world. And it's a huge coffee region as well. So for coffee lovers, it's the perfect place. And I'm not a coffee lover. <laughs> I hate it. Do you want postcards from around the world? Right now I am writing and drawing on postcards to my subscribers. If you want to join my Patreon, click the link below. You'll be supporting the channel and you'll be getting something pretty cool with a drawing from me. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.